Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Woo. Now today we have a special video for you. But before we get into that, just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all the love that y'all have shown this channel. It just We want to continue the growth. So go ahead and subscribe and join the family. Now Woo. today we are here to talk about the rumored cast list of RuPaul's... You, uh, RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the World Season 2. Oh. Now listen, I was so confused when I started hearing this uh, rumbling that they were going to do another season of UK versus the World. I'm like, wait, isn't that the purpose of Global All-Stars? But from what I'm hearing now, mm -hmm. going forward, the main All-Star season is going to allow international queens. Mm. So they're gonna rebrand it as Global All Stars. Mm. So it's just gonna be like from All Stars Nine going forward, they're going to include more international queens. Which honestly, if they consider All Stars Eight Global All Stars, I'm gonna be highly upset because there's only one international queen on the cast. Right. And well, if you're here for the rumors of here, that means you want to, you've already know that it's Jimbo. So if they consider it an international, I mean, a uh, global all stars just from one international queen, I'm going to be highly upset. But I did mm. hear the rumor that a lot of the assassins are mm -hmm. international as well. Um, mm -hmm. From my understanding, I believe Pangina and Crystal Versace are two of the assassins that are supposed to be there. Uh huh. And I'm like, okay, but still, it's just like if you're gonna call it Global All Stars, I want to see Global. <laughs> so we just gotta wait. All. So we just gotta wait and see. Um, yes. So I hope Global All Stars is something different from regular All Stars, but if they are just rebranding it, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get more UK versus the world, and rumor has it we're gonna get another Canada versus the world too. And I'm mm. like, did y'all not learn y'all lesson from the first time? Nobody wanted to do it that time. What's, mm. what's going to change a year or so later? Honestly, I don't see nothing that's going to change. Queens are still not going to want to do it because it's not hosted by RuPaul. Right. Because some of the names that we're going to see on this list were on the Canada versus the world list, but a p rumor they pulled out because they realized Ru wasn't hosting. Right. So it was just like, what a, What do you do? What do you do? But anyway, BBC ordered another UK versus the world instead of doing their own All-Stars. That's fine. But we're here to look at the rumored list. There's 12 queens rumored to be there. Ooh. Now, they haven't started shooting yet, but this list is pretty much confirmed through all the sources and even some YouTubers who check their own sources and be like, yeah, these 12 queens are mm -hmm. going to shoot UK versus the world. And they just wrapped up UK season five. So that means mm -hmm. they're going to be doing this like next week. Ooh. So as this goes along, we will be updating the list. It will be in the comment section to let you know, oh, this person's debunked. This person's going to be there. So if you watch this, you're like, oh, but I heard such and such. Check the comments. Uh, <laughs> it will be down there, okay? So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and let's meet the rumored cast of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the World Season 2. <laughs> Up first... It's Theresa May. Theresa May. From RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 3. She came in 6th slash 7th place. You know, she had that double elimination. Mm -hmm. And she had one win and one uh, bottom placement. Her win came from the girl group challenge. You know, B, D, E. Uh, uh. <laughs> that, that's the only reason. And then, of course, you know, her and River Medway were the double elimination for Snatch Game. Um, so, are we excited to be possibly seeing Theresa May again? Yeah. Yeah. I am. She was one of the shining moments for season three of me. And I felt like they did her dirty with the double elimination. Yeah. 
because a I don't think she should have been in the bottom two. And if no. we're gonna be fair, I think she lost the lip sync. I think River should have won it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, hopefully she can come back and just continue to be the star that she already is. And I, I'm excited. Honestly, I really was expecting her on the Spanias All Stars. Yeah. Because, you know, they've only had, they just shot up season three. So, like, I'm not sure when they're going to shoot All Stars, but I was like, that would have been a fun little surprise to be like, oh, you thought you knew who was going to be here. Bam. Here's Theresa May. <laughs> And she's originally from Spain, so it just kind of makes sense. Like, just throw her in there. Dang. But she's here at the UK versus the world, so I'm super excited to see her again. The next queen that is rumored to be there is Geometric from Canada Drag Race Season 2. She came Mm -hmm. in fourth place. She had one win and two bottom placements. Mm. And, you know, she got done dirty with that uh, during the reunion where they're like, oh, our top four is going to become a final three. So yeah. So now you got to lip sync for the finale. I'm like, oh, y'all did her dirty. I liked it, but I was like, oh, y'all did her dirty. Hmm. But um, she won the girl group challenge. And yes. honestly, I feel like she should have won Snatch Game too, but we're not going to talk about that. And <laughs> for real, her Jim Carrey was hilarious. <laughs> I enjoyed it. People were like shitting on it. It was funny. Mm-hmm. It was funny. And then we talked about how she was eliminated on the reunion episode. But yeah, are we excited for Miss Chia? Yes. I, I'm excited to see her without the Rat Pack because we saw how Kendall did without the Rat Pack. I mean, the yes. Rat Pack. And it didn't yes. work out in her favor. So let, no. hopefully it's a little better for Gia. And if, if it's true, can we please keep the Canadian queen from going home first? Okay. Because on UK versus the world season one and Canada versus the world, a Canada queen went home first. Right. So can can we um possibly keep them, you know, maybe an episode or two? Right. Not too long. Just just, just a little bit. Just long enough for us to actually get But yeah, get um you know who I they had are. a love hate relationship with Gia during season two, if you go back and watch. But um, yes. I'm excited to see Gia back in the workroom, in the UK workroom. And she gets to meet RuPaul. Hey. That would be my thing, too. Like, if I was from a different country that Ru didn't host, like, if I mm-hmm. want to do All Stars, like, I want to do a season Ru's there because, you know, Ru's the reason why all this exists. Right. So I would love to be finally be in front of Ru. Mm hmm. Next queen up is Gothi Kendall. She is the pork I... chop of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. She was the first queen to go home on the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. I was like, I remember her. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she was first out. She came in 10th place. Mm-hmm. Clearly, she only had that one bottom, and it was the episode she went home. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very first episode, you know, they had to do the two runways, and her runways just didn't, like, they were cute, but they weren't finished. They just didn't give. Yeah. <laughs> And I follow Gothi since then. And Gothi has grown so much. Exponentially. <laughs> yes, so much. I have to be careful going on her page, though, because, you know, she'd be promoting her spicy content. I'm like, I don't want to see that. But, yeah. but, yes, I'm excited because, you know, we've been seeing this trend of early outs coming back. Mm-hmm. If you look at All Star 6, there was a good chunk of them who were early outs. If you look at um, Canada versus the world, Stephanie was the second or third out. Like, so to have, yeah. and then there's a rumor to have like two or three first outs on All Stars 8. So I'm excited of the possibility of another first out to be able to come back and give it another shot. Right. So we can see what they were going to give. Yeah. And what they should be times, giving. The now. queen isn't bad. It's just they had a bad day. Right. They had a bad day. Yeah, like, I'm excited to see what Gothi is possibly going to bring. But yes, Miss Gothi Kendall. Up next on the list is Hanaconda from RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under Season 2. She came in second slash third. She was a runner-up. And she had three Mm -hmm. wins in one bottom placement. Now, her wins, she had the Snatch Game. 
mm-hmm. girl group mm-hmm. and the branding challenge where they had to do mm-hmm. their hometown situation. And the yeah. only time she was in the bottom is when she was for that acting challenge they did at the end of the season. Right. Mm-hmm. But yes, Miss mm-hmm. Hannah Conda. I'm excited for Hannah. Because I I'm really thought she was going to win too. down under. I really did. She, look, you know, I was just... Uh, yeah. I had my, my pick, of course. But, you know, not to outdo them. Mm-hmm. Love them. But hey. Hannah... But Hannah yeah, I, comes I really close. thought Hannah was going to win down under. So to see her come back, mm-hmm. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a little soon, but there's a few of them. You're like, really? You just finished, right? Like you want to come back already? Are uh-huh. you sure? Uh, are you sure? Okay. Okay. Are okay. you sure? That's that's what you're, okay. But one thing that's I'm loving about this season so far, it really feels like it's versus the world. You know, right. in Canada, there was only what like three, four different countries represented it. With this yeah, one, we I just think had that's... Thailand, Canada. Well, we had Holland. But yeah, but with Canada UK. in particular, Canada versus the world, we had U.S., American, I mean, U.S., Canadian, U.K., and Down Under. Mm. Here, we're so far, we've had Canada, we've had U.K., now we have Down Under. We're going to have some Hollands, Philippines, France. Like, this is a more well-rounded, this is versus the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see the world in versus the world. Well. But I'm excited for Hannah Conda. I am. I am. So if Miss Thang going to be there, honey, you better show out. Hey. You better show out. Because I'm going to be there. You better what? Be there rooting you on. Up next is Jomber's Blonde. From RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 4. Four. She was a finalist. Ooh, she came in third or fourth four, fourth place. Now, yeah. she didn't get a win. No. But she did lip sync twice. Um, mm-hmm. She lip synced for the girl group challenge. And mm. for that god-awful acting challenge they had at mm. the end of the season. <laughs> mm. Now, you know, Jombers is the one that grew on me. Yeah. Because I couldn't stand her the whole season, but that finale, she showed out. whole season. But that finale, she showed out. Yes. (laughs) She showed out. I'm like, okay, if you bring finale jumpers into this season, oh, baby, Mm -hmm. you're going to be a threat. You might get you a couple weeks. (laughs) I love her stockings. Oh, I love these stockings as well, yes. You know, I love polka dots. But yeah, I hope she comes in and demolishes. And like, it's going to be hard watching this season. I'm like, because we got a lot of heavy hitters. Yes. And somebody got to go home first. Ooh. Somebody's not going to make it to the top three or four or whatever they plan on doing. Right. Somebody's not going to make it. No. And it makes me nervous. <laughs> it makes me nervous, honey. I'm like, <laughs> No, don't no, do it. Nah, no. Nah. 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 It can only take so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but up next is <clears throat> Keta Minaj from Drag Minaj. Race Holland, season two, fourth place. Um, she had three wins, one bottom. Yes. Um, you see that lovely word that's next to fourth place. Yes. Robbed. With so many exclamation points. She is the definition of robbed. Her and Shangela. Yes. Like, those are the robbed queens. Like, them the only yes. two I can honestly say were robbed. Were robbed. 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 Ooh, I'm sorry. Let me calm down. But she had three wins and only had one bottom placement and was sent home by that damn cheater. Um, she won the talent show. Uh-huh. She won Snatch Game. Mm-hmm. And she won the improv challenge. Mm-hmm. And she went home on the acting challenge, which is a very common thing for these queens. Ruth, yes. don't do an acting challenge this season. Please don't. Because there's too many of them here that went home on an acting challenge. <laughs> too many. Either went home or bought them during the... No. No, let's, let's not do an acting challenge. Okay, thank you. No acting challenge. No, no, we no. don't want it. No, no. get somebody else I to do it. Like it. I don't like it at all. You can get somebody else to do it. Okay. Um, Someone else. Y'all know Keta Minaj is like one of my favorite queens of all times. Like top five of my favorite queens of all time. 
Mm-hmm. She was done so dirty by Fred. So dirty. Oh, I truly my God. feel like that was the reason why the show was canceled because after this, Twitter went ablaze. Yes. And, and I was I one could, of them. You can't ablaze. blame them, though. Like, we were pissed. Like, I was pissed, and I didn't even have Keta on my radar. Like, we stopped reviewing Drag Race Hall in season two because of this. Yes. Like, we were. Like, to think, like, like some part of us likes to think that we had something to do with it being canceled. Oh. But it was just, no, it wasn't worth watching anymore. Oh, my like, God. Like, if Fred was going <laughs> to be like that. Then there was no need to watch because. And if it's true, they're gonna try to rebrand it to Drag Race Netherlands. Keep Fred away from it. <clears throat> Keep Fred away from it. Keep Fred away from it. Fred had their picks and and made sure Clearly. that they made it to the top. Clearly, had his picks. like like the only reason why Abby oh my god did not win was because it was too obvious. Um, that the other queen was better. I love better. how you mentioned her name. Just keep that keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> but I'm excited for Keta to be back in front of the... It's going to be weird hearing her speak English, though. I'm so used yeah. to hearing her speak Dutch. I'm like... like I know a lot of the queens do speak English, but it's just going to be like, no. I, I'm used to French. I'm used to Dutch. I'm used to whatever you're, you're, you speak. Mm-hmm. Because kind of like when I first heard Jenny Jack A's talk, I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, you do joke. speak English? Well, clearly she had to. She was there. But I'm like, it's just like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I ain't I'm, used to this. Uh, I really want Keta Minaj to win. If not, be a finalist, runner up. Like, she better make yes. the whole season. She is. Yes. She, oh. Because she's do, fierce already, as it is. Now, the only way I don't see her, if they uh, pangina her, like the one time she's in the bottom, they're like, ah, get out of here. Right. And then I'm going to be ready to fight. I normally don't fight on Twitter, but I'm going to fight that day. <laughs> I'm going to fight that day. <laughs> not my Keta. Not my Keta. Mm-mm. Again. Not my Keta. No, not your Keta. Not my Keta. But up next is La Grand Dame from Drag Grand Race France. Dame. Uh, ah. She's from season one, the only season of Drag Race France. She was a yeah. runner-up, second, third place. She only had one win, and technically she didn't have any bottoms, even though they did that lip sync for the finale thing, and she was the final one to send Lolita Banana home, even though Lolita Banana won the lip sync. But I'll be quiet. Right? Lolita was robbed of that lip sync. Oh, she's up there, too. That's a third queen I could put in the robbed category. Yes. It might not have been for the win, but it was for that lip sync. Oh, the, there were several wins she should have got, including yeah. the makeover challenge. Like, Oh my I, god, right? And I honestly think they switched it f- to be like, oh, now we're going to lip sync for the finale, because they didn't want to give Lolita that win and have to send somebody else home. Mm-hmm. But the one win that La Grande Dame did get was the Snatch Game. I mm-hmm. remember you didn't really care for her Snatch Game, but I thought it was hilarious. And I think because I didn't understand it. That was why. And she's going to be another one that's going to be weird hearing her speak English. I'll be like, shh, no, speak French, honey. It's okay. They'll put subtitles <laughs> there. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay. But yeah, um, I'm excited for La Grande Dame. You know, La Grande Dame was one of my favorites from Drag mm-hmm. Race France. Yes. So I'm excited to see her back on my television screen. Television. Yeah, television. It's, oh, I get to, oh, she gets to meet Rue. That's awesome. Hey. Up next, what they all aspire to. <laughs> up next is Marina Summers from Drag Race Philippines season one. Woo! Second place, runner up. She had mm-hmm. two wins. It could have been mm-hmm. four, to be honest with you. Mm. And zero bottom placements. Hey. Uh, let's see. Her two wins were the improv Let's challenge know. and the music video challenge they did. Like I said, honestly, there was a few more wins she could have got. Mm-hmm. And her being low for the makeover challenge still baffles me to this mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. To this day. I re- they, they were against my sister. They were. They were. But I heard from a birdie that RuPaul really loved Marina. Uh-huh. So that might have been a reason why she didn't win, so that she could 
show out in front of RuPaul. Right. But I'm excited for Marina Summers. It's quick. It's quick. But I'm excited mm-hmm. to see Miss Marina back. One of my favorites. Ooh, and can lip sync the house down. If she's in the top two or, mm. or top all-star of the week, we don't know how they're going to do it. I assume they're going to keep the format. Top two, lip sync for the win. They get to choose who goes home. But, um, yeah. Why? I'm, Why did I go forward in the pictures? Oh, my. F- <laughs> oh, my God. Let's just really? go ahead and go to the next one. Oh, my God. You're right. Miss Abby. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what the f- From Drag Race Hall is season one, fourth place, no wins, and four bottom placements. If you remember when we did our Canada versus the world list, she was rumored to be on there. She was one of the queens that allegedly dropped out when she realized Rue wasn't hosting it. But yeah, how do we feel about seeing Miss Abby? Oh my god. <laughs> I really wish you could see my face right now. Oh, I, I looked over to my second screen. I seen it. Well, it. Put that put that into words. Why? Now listen, everyone deserves a redemption. Stop that. You stop <laughs> that right now. Because you were the same way about Silky coming back, and now Silky's one of your favorites. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you have no rebuttal to my rebuttal. Mm-mm. <laughs> you, you can't even say nothing. <laughs> and you know what? I hope we remember this moment because if it's true, she's there and she comes and shows out this time. I, I want to sit there and be like, hmm. Hmm. But you didn't want her there, remember? Hmm. Pull, pull my big ear out. Mm-hmm. What, what was that? Well, mm-hmm. hopefully this time she learned how to sew. Hopefully this time she learned how to wear her outfits right and they're the right goddamn size. How about that? And I'm finna say, there's no Fred this time to save her. Exactly. Somebody but, had to go for home first. But you gotta remember, UK versus World, they play cutthroat. So even if she does bad, if she's there next to somebody stronger... And if they choose to continue to play cutthroat on UK versus the world, she can make it far if she, if she, but I think she's going to come back and slay. Well, I hope she does a good job. (laughs) Because the only reason, and I get, okay, um, let me give her the benefit of the doubt. Let me, let me reel it back. Let me, let me, let me, let me, because the only reason why I don't like her is because of Fred. Yeah, it's not her fault she had to keep lip syncing. It's not her fault. So. Good luck, Abby. Oh, my God. (laughs) Up next is one of your favorites. It's Miss Cracker. From RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, she placed fifth place with one win and one bottom placement. She came back for RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 5, where she was a runner-up, where she had three wins and one bottom placement. And if my memory serves correct, she was on your wish list for the next Versus the World season. Was she? This is going to be on the same playlist, so we're going to, I'm going to have to go back and see. Wait, do you still have that list? I'm looking. Let me find out, because I sure don't have mine. I know Kettle was on it. <laughs> I know, but I remember Miss Cracker was on yours, because I was like, oh, look at you, Miss Cracker. While she's looking at that, we're going to go over her wins real quick. Um, She had a win in the Makeover Challenge for Season 10. And then for Season 5 of All Stars... She won the improv challenge, she won the ball, and she won the stand-up challenge. Um, she was in the bottom for the snatch game, though. That terrible Lady Gaga, she did that terrible Lady Gaga. But I'm excited mm. to see Miss Cracker back, because if you remember, All-Stars 5, she didn't get the best edit on All-Stars 5. No, she didn't. And you can kind of see it from the level of her work since then because it just because she was everywhere at first and then after right. all stars she was just kind of eh. 
So hopefully this could revamp and get her back out there again. Mm-hmm. And let's see if we can get another crown in the house of Bob, okay? Hey. Because she is the drag daughter of Bob, the drag queen. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, are you excited to see Miss Cracker again? You know what? I am. I am. I do not have that list. Well, you can go back and watch the video. I just know I had Keta. You had Miss Cracker. I mm. do know that. But yeah, I'm super excited to see Cracker again. Moving onwards to the next queen, we have Scarlet Envy. I know I put two T's in her name. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. But uh-huh. she, she is from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. She came in 10th place where she had one win and two bottoms. And she competed on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6 where she came in 9th place where she didn't get any wins and was only in the bottom once when they sent her home. Now, her win on Season uh, 10 was the acting... Oh, she's on Season 11. I'm sorry. She came in 10th place. Uh, her win on uh, Season 10 was the acting challenge. 11. That she, 11. I keep saying 11. Was the acting challenge. 10. I keep saying 10. It's because she came in 10th place on Season I 11. Know. She won the acting challenge with Evie Oddly. Mm-hmm. And then she was part of that amazing six-way lip sync. I don't care what y'all say. That lip sync was amazing. It was mm-hmm. so chaotic. I love it. And then she had that other lip sync for the um, Drag Olympics challenge they did. She was mm-hmm. in the bottom against Raja in um, O'Hara. Mm-hmm. And to this day, people tell me to let it go. I'm not. Scarlet won that lip sync. I don't care what nobody says. Scarlet won that lip sync. Raja did not win it. Ugh. I remember the last time I brought it up there like this. When you really need to let it go, Raja won that lip sync. No, she did not. Scarlet won it. And I'm not even a Scarlet stand. I just... Ugh. And then on All Stars, they completely slept on her. They slept on her in All Stars because she did amazing in that ball. Her talent show with those bubbles, like, come on. And then they sent her home at the Pink Table Talk, which it should have been Jan. But they were scared of Jan's fans. That's really what it came down to. I wouldn't have. Baby, I would have been like, Jan, get on out of here. Mm. Hit the dope. But are I mean, you excited Jan to- home the next episode. <laughs> are you excited to see Scarlet again? <laughs> stop that. <laughs> you stop that right now. And this time it's not even anybody else's fault. It's her own. I just, I don't, her personality and mine just she, don't. She does they have a drop don't. personality, but I love that personality. Just don't mix well. I have a dry personality. I mm. no, I don't. And maybe that's dry. why. <laughs> maybe. All right, and last but definitely not least, Ty Nomi Banks from Canada's Drag Race season one. She came in ninth place. Now she didn't get any wins, and um, she lip synced quite a bit. <laughs> the first three episodes. <laughs> no. She was in four episodes, and she lip-synced the last three of them. Because <clears throat> remember, the first episode was Juice Box and Lemon. And then yes. every episode after that was Tainomi and somebody else. Tainomi and mm-hmm. Kind. Tainomi and Anastasia. Tainomi and Iola. And then Iola sent her home, even though Tainomi won that lip-sync. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see her again. because you know she I'm was, excited to see her. She was really in her head coming into Canada's Drag Race because she mm-hmm. had such a big name. And she mm-hmm. knew a lot of people would be watching her. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping she had time to get that together. And maybe it'll be a lot more comfortable for her since she's not going to be on Canada soil. Right. And plus she'll be, she'll be in front of RuPaul instead of Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, <laughs> Brooklyn was really on her. Like, I know you can do better. I've worked with you. We've done this, that, and the third. I know you could do better. Better. RuPaul don't. Mm-hmm. So, I'm excited to see Tainomi again. I'm excited. So, this is our cast of 12 lovely queens. Lovely, Al. Who could possibly be there. Remember, take this with a pinch of salt. Yes. So, looking at this, 
these 12 queens, although, hold on, I need to fix, you, you don't worry about me, uh, I need to see, will that help some? No, that won't. <laughs> I was trying to fix it because our faces block Miss Cracker and Scarlet Envy, but it is what it is. They know who's back there. <laughs> They've been on three times at this point. They know who they are. So, out of these, who do you think would be a front runner in a season like this? Just looking at all 12 of these queens, who would you think would be a front runner? Hmm. If you glance, are you are you on the picture with all 12 of them? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because I wasn't sure if you noticed that that was in there or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made it. <laughs> uh, that's kind of tough. Yeah, because we got a lot of people who were finalists in their season. We got a lot of people who were eliminated early. And then we got a few. We got, no. They were either eliminated early or they were finalists. Exactly. Or, in this case, Keta, who almost made it to the end. <laughs> Still mad about that. <laughs> Same for Gia. She almost made it to the end. So, out of these 12 queens, like, this ain't your official prediction, but, like, who do you think, just looking at all these queens, is going to show out on UK versus the World Season 2? Okay, uh, you know, I'm torn. It's always like more than one for me. Well, go ahead, talk. Who do you think will be the front runners? The front runners. I forgot who that is right there. Um, Which one? Jomper's Blonde. Ah, Jomper's Blonde. Okay. So I think Jomper's Blonde is one. Mm-hmm. Kitty Minaj is another one. And I'm gonna say God, you just said her name. And I can't remember it. Our our only uh down under queen. Hanaconda. Hanaconda. Oh, okay. Um, I think of course Kitty Minaj. Mm-hmm. Um I think it is the BBC, so they're going to want one of these UK girls at the end. I'm going to say Gothi Kendall. Like, I think she's going to come in and show y'all, okay, just because I went out first. I, I got to uh-huh. show y'all. I got to show y'all. And That was somewhere on the list. I'm going to say either Marina Summers uh-huh. or Miss Abby Oh My God. And I low-key want Abby to come in and slay just to spite you. <laughs> yes, because you just be hate don't make her. Don't get me wrong. She, I just I, look me and Abby. Oh my God, have come to an understanding. It's not her fault that Fred was favoring her. Yeah, I I want to see I want to see those who did bad do good this time. You know what I'm saying? Like Tynomi, I would mm-hmm. love to see Tynomi go far. I would love to see Teresa Gothi, but at the same time, we got hard hitters like Keta, Marina, Legrand Dom, Teresa. Like this is this is going to be a season, right? And I wonder if they'll play as competitive as season one of UK versus the World, because if they are, oh, it's going to be good. You know how much I love UK versus the World, right? I've been begging for people to play the game like that, and they finally did it, and I'm like, cheers. <laughs> did it hurt? It broke your heart in the end. Oh, did it hurt watching Jimbo, <laughs> yes. Pangina, and Jenny Jack A, all the front runners leave week after week? It did. But would have I would have I done it the did. same thing? Yes. Yes, you would have. I sure would have. I love you, Kreisha, but if you were doing better than me in the competition, <laughs> and we right there towards the finale too, like this episode right before the finale. I'm like, good sister, you we we gonna have to make up later, but um, Roxy, she gotta go, Roxy gotta go home <laughs> to the house. I'm trying to win. And, then, and Rue would sit there and be like, mm-hmm. and did whole mouth open, just 
you guys have been best friends this whole time. What? Mm. We, we, and we going to be afterwards, after I get this crown. But that's only if you're doing better than me. If I'm doing better than you, you're safe, girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if we about the same, you safe as well. I'm like, eh, we about the same. You good. <laughs> but if, but if you doing better than me, you going to house. <laughs> Maybe I will call you when we get back to the States, okay? <laughs> as soon as I get my phone back, I will call you. But you got to go. <laughs> Head on back to Texas, honey. I'll see you then. I'll see you there, honey. <sighs> but be like, yeah. that's a motherfucker. <laughs> Sit there and be like, uh, what's your name, 3000? Be like, my NDA is up. This motherfucker. And, like, I can see myself, just know, if I start crying, that means I picked you. Because everybody else, I wouldn't have cared. But if you oh, see, God. But if you're standing there next to whomever and whomever, and you see me start to cry. I'm going to just walk over <laughs> there and slap the shit out of you and walk off. I'm like, I- I'm sorry, but I came here to win. And there's one person who could stop me from doing that. What happened to I want to compete against the best? I never said that. <laughs> I never said that. And I did compete against the best and I sent them home. Mm-hmm. That that line always confused me when it came to drag race. I'm here to beat the best. I'm here, honey, if you send them home, you beat the best. Did, did right. you not? Mm-hmm. I, I was always confused by that. I'm like, you did beat the best. You sent them to the house. Mm. <laughs> what, what, what else? How else you want to? You want to wait till the finale? And they, no, go home. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm walking away with that crown. And since this is the BBC, it ain't no money. But I'm trying to walk away with that crown and a possible duet with RuPaul, a melody of her greatest hits. Oh God. But yeah, that is. You know our, what? Uh, and if that be the case, I'll be like, you know what? You go ahead and take that. <laughs> and finally, we can have a black winner for the uh, UK brand. <laughs> hey, it took doing a versus the world to get a black winner for Canada. Mm-hmm. But hey, it is, it is what it is, darling. And we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I'm super excited for UK versus the world season two. Hopefully we'll get it later this year, like we did last year. With mm-hmm. well, last year we got UK and then ended it with Canada. But yeah, hopefully we'll get it later this year after they air UK season five or maybe even before. It just really depends on what they're trying to do. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and wrap these things up here. Christian May, where can they find you on the medias that are social? You can find me at Krisha McGill, that's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me in the club, pocket full of blood, my mind. Hey, but if I'm not there, you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond, that's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.